right, so welcome back. Uh, we've been working on a series of videos about drawing facial features and working towards creating things that look a little bit more realistic. Right, and as we've taken a look at some of our previous drawings, right, we're counteracting that idea of the um, stereotypical or imagined facial feature versus being uh, getting something that is a little bit more naturalistic, right? Drawing what we think we see versus paying attention and observing what is actually in front of our eye. Right? And with the last facial feature that we're gonna be taking a look at, which is the ear, right? the same principles apply. Right? We can easily create an ear that looks like this, right? put in different um, details in order to try and imagine the ear. Right? And again, they will work if you were doing cartooning or you're working in something that's a little bit more stylized. But with this particular exercise, our emphasis is on generating a stronger sense of realism in your work. As we have with all of the other drawings, I'm going to be starting with some basic guidelines in order to establish where different parts of the ear need to go. So what I'm drawing first is kind of the, the overall tilt from, of the ear from top to bottom. In this case, what I'm noticing is that there's a slight tilt with the upper left going to uh, sorry the upper part of the ear tilting a little bit to the right right and you'll notice that my angle my line is on a little bit of an angle to represent that from there i'm going to use my straight lines to establish the overall basic form and shape of the ear and with this part as well i'm going to be looking at sort of defining where all of the different curvatures of the ear go as well. Okay, so I've, what I've done is I've got the outer edge uh, and as well as starting to look at some of the inner parts of the ear as well. The next step, as usual, is to start looking at how we're going to smoothen out and get the contours of these lines to be a little bit more accurate. You'll notice I'm pressing a little bit harder. This might be a little bit too dark, uh, but we'll see as we go here. And then I've got the inner part of the ear here, right where the earlobe is. Uh, so I'm going to start kind of defining this and smoothing this line out, seeing that this one comes up and around, down across. And this is going to be hard to draw with actual lines because this is a, a lot of modulation in, in value. So I'm going to actually leave that as it is. And I'm going to get this, the, the inner portion of the ear, more closely articulated. So once um, I'm in, in this part here, I'm going to start adding in my value. I like kind of working from the inside of the ear out. So I'm going to start with the ear canal. Right? It's obviously really dark. Starting with that. And it's a fairly sharp line to transition in. And so I'm going to leave that kind of being a little bit more intense than I have in some of the other parts of the, uh, the drawings that we've done. Again, I'm going to find some of these darker areas and work from them out. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Starting to move back into the inner ear part, right? And what makes the ear quite fun to draw is the sharp transitions that we often see um, because of the folds of the skin in and around the ear. And sort of some of the finishing touches here are going to be on the outer side of the ear as well. You'll see that it's there's some darker values from the shadow that is being cast by the ear onto the neck. Right, and then we also have the texture of the hair that we need to be thinking about as well. Right, so through value, right, establishing some of those basic lines, we're going to be able to uh, create something that has a little bit more dimension and believability in terms of its realism by looking at how we're adding in some of these values, a little bit of the texture in and around the ear as well. And that's going to help to bring everything together. Anyways, if you have any questions, I hope that you will uh, make sure that you reach out, ask, and good luck on exploring how to draw the ear. Can't wait to see what you're able to do. Have a great day. Bye.